All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today, we're going to talk about how Model 3 inventory is spiking. And uh, is anyone buying a Tesla anymore? Is there, you know, a demand problem? That, you know, that's it's a no-no in the Tesla Twitter world. People don't like that word because Tesla doesn't have a demand problem. We sold, Tesla sold 1.4 million vehicles in 2022, and they sold 900,000 vehicles in 2021. So over a, what, 30 to 40% increase? Tesla doesn't have a demand problem. They just have a, uh, maybe a pricing problem. They, they should adjust some of the prices. And that's why I've created that petition in the video right before this one, if you want to check it out and support the cause and why Tesla should lower their prices. But we're going to take a look at today on how Tesla Model 3 Inventory is spiking. It's uh, definitely a lot higher than what it's been for the past few days. We'll take a look at some of the data and what possibly might be happening or what will be happening most likely in the next couple of weeks, we hope. But thanks for watching this video. Let's, let's Before we get into that, let's roll that intro real quick. Thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis and I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on a Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. We make what, two to three, maybe even four videos a day now at this point regarding Tesla content. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description if you want to support the channel and even maybe schedule a call with me, but more on that later. All right, so let's take a look at some of this data, some of this graphs. This is uh, teslaData.mattjung.net. So shout out to Matt Jung. And of course, I have the Model Y inventory chart up first because we saw this happen like earlier this past week. We saw Model Y inventory jump uh, substantially up, and now there's 379 new Model Ys available for sale. This was actually at uh, 400. It's got this like imaginary weird cap at 400 vehicles per segment per per model, per Tesla. But right now it's at 379 and you can see right here, there's these a bunch of these standard wheel drive ones or short range, the base one, base, 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 under long range that are available for sale and starting to creep up in inventory. So this is like Maryland, Florida, you know, Texas, but I digress, right? We're, we're here to talk about the Model 3 specifically. And you can see this is that same Model 3 inventory chart from before and we're seeing a nice, healthy increase this is as of today 130 vehicles and going to waitingfortesla.com shout out to them this is a third-party aggregator site that tracks also tracks inventory levels and vehicles across the country from new teslas to also demo so definitely check out if you're interested and you can see here there's 134 brand new teslas available for sale across the country this is so this was a spike up because these past few days it was like what 10 20 30 maybe at most you can see from this chart like what this is like 26 uh and then it spiked up to 58 but uh it's interesting right because the model 3 especially the Model 3 standard range is the only vehicle or besides the Model Y long range 7 seat, Model 3 standard range is the only vehicle and trim that qualifies for the 7500 tax credit. So we really shouldn't be seeing any of these in inventory, but you can see right here, you can see right here, there's a handful. Wow, there's actually, what is, this is a lot of them actually. Let's, let's sort it down to trim and then um, rear wheel drive standard range and there's actually 50 model, brand new model 3 standard ranges available for sale in the country all over the place so that's uh, pretty interesting that's a, maybe a sign of what you know could be going on even with that 7500 tax credit people are still kind of waiting on the sidelines and not purchasing the vehicle which is you know interesting maybe they don't know about like other financing companies like tenant which allow you to finance or defer 7500 dollars like the tax credit all the way to the end of the loan so definitely check that out in the description if you're interested shout out to tenant for sponsoring this video uh, and there's a link down below in the description if you want to check out them. But, uh, you know, it's uh, definitely interesting how there's a spike in Model 3 inventory. So I've been predicting for a while now that Tesla is going to decrease their prices. I didn't think it would take this long at this point. I really thought the Model 3 long range was going to decrease to under 55000 But maybe they're just waiting. They're waiting for something. And I, of course, don't know what they're waiting for. I mean, we, the next key date here is January 25th, which is their earnings call. So maybe they're waiting for 
for that and before they make any sort of adjustments. But it does seem like yesterday we saw Tesla China, Japan, Australia, and South Korea lower their prices. So the question is when? When will Tesla lower their prices? And I put a poll, of course, on the channel. And uh, I said, Tesla discounts happening all over the world. When do you think Tesla US will discount? Of course, today, 10%. Next week, 19%. Earnings call on the 25th at 22%. And then 34% said February or March. I mean, there also could be a case where Tesla doesn't lower their prices at all. So as part of the strategy, so I put another poll. Should Tesla lower the prices to fit into the Inflation Reduction Act price guidelines? 55K for Model 3 Long Range, 55K for Model Y Long Range. And of course, an overwhelming 72% said yes. So that's that's why I've created a poll. I know there is, a, well, that's why I've created a a petition. I know there's I know another petition that came out first. I kind of just stole this idea and flipped it. But I think Tesla should lower their prices for the Model 3 and the Model Y to under 55000 So definitely check out this petition. Four people, shout out to you that have signed it. But I think because Tesla has raised their prices for the Model 3 long range and Model Y long range, us astronomically of course there was something going on for the past couple of years material costs have gone up but i think if the goal is to sell more teslas they should lower the prices to get that tax credit because then it would i think it would be a slick deal at the end of the day the current model 3 long range price is forty seven thousand dollars it used or was forty seven thousand dollars and now it's fifty eight thousand dollars and then the model y long range was fifty one thousand dollars in april of 2021 and it's now sixty six thousand dollars so check out the petition if you want to support the cause i think it should be in the description or in the comments but um, if not check out my twitter at at wang underscore made uh, i just made a post on here as well to see if we can get some more signatures on this because you know it takes two to tango at the end of the day while i agree the irs and treasury should have classified the model y as a maybe an e suv electric suv along with the ford Machi and the id4 at the same time, it takes two to tango and Tesla should, you know, maybe reduce their prices as well. But they probably are. And maybe we're just trying to jump the gun here. But, you know, Model 3, the big story is that inventory is spiking up. There's not as much demand. I thought the hottest car, you know, the only car that makes sense to buy right now from Tesla is the Model 3 stand range because it qualifies for that $7,500 tax credit, which you can defer with tenant financing that, that down below in the description if you want to check them out. But, uh, you know, that seems like there's inventory popping up. And, there's, and what's interesting with this is there's inventory popping up in California, which California is arguably the hottest Tesla market. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let's jump into some comments and questions. But, you know, definitely check out the links below in the description if you want to support the channel, including a Patreon link in which you can actually schedule a call with me to ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. Let's, let's, let's uh, jump into some comments. Ati, hello. I think Tesla should offer a 30 day price match guarantee to give the customers confidence to go ahead and they will be covered in this chaos. That's actually not a bad idea. I kind of like that. I mean, maybe like a price, like credit cards do that, but I don't, is there any other businesses that do, will do that for, yeah, I guess so. Like Best Buy kind of does that, Nordstrom maybe. But uh, that's, I kind of like that idea, like a six months, because they need sales. They need sales now. They need sales at the end of this quarter. I'm, I don't know. I'm just I'm thinking they do. But uh, that might not be a bad idea. Maybe like a, what, 60 to 90 day or 30 days. I mean, let's just go with 30 days and see, what that, see how that works. But that would be a nightmare. They would literally have to create another department that would just track and follow all that stuff for people. But I guess if you make it like where people have to claim it themselves, you know, there's going to be a percentage of people that just never claim it and or don't follow. Sai, Tina Corn Sai. Oh, shoot, you live. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining in. Please hit that like if you're enjoying this so far. Grant I, exactly. Ati, exactly. They should honor and send to whoever ever ordered during the summer but cannot get it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like with all this push and heat back now, push and heat that they got for December, they, maybe they roll it out now and then anyone future would be able to claim it. But either way, you know, it kind of sucks for everybody. It sucks for everybody that got, took advantage or didn't take advantage and so on and so forth. Tan Benson, more like buying Tesla, remind people of Elon Musk and crypto may not be a pricing problem. So you're saying like people that buy Teslas buy crypto? Yeah, I could probably see that. Yeah, uh, Ati, yes, they should honor our price who ordered because of the promo. Yeah, exactly. That'd be, that, that's a nice idea. That's a, that's a good video idea. Like should, should Tesla 
uh, integrate like 30 day price match guarantee or something like that. Tinacorn, should I wait to buy Model Y price when down or buy now? Not rushing, need a car and not qualify for 7,500 tax rate either. What do you think? I think you should wait. Don't buy now. It doesn't make any sense unless you need a car. But if you don't need a car, just wait, wait and see. There's just too much stuff happening on the horizon with the earnings call, prices, USS sensors, radar, Tesla vision, all that stuff. Like you might as well just wait and see because the prices are too dang high. We just made a video about that. Teslas and tech. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the video. I'm waiting for my crypto to go back up or Elon to open uh, lower prices. Well, crypto probably won't go up for another, what, two, three, four, five years. We're definitely, definitely in a crypto winter, but Elon might wait lower their prices at the end of the day. And so I created another poll just to see what's out there. I just did it like a minute ago. Wow. 20 votes already. Did you buy, and the question was, did you buy a new Tesla after January 1st? Of course, after that $7,500 discount in December, what did you buy? 5% said Model 3 Santa Range. 5% said Model 3 Long Range or Model Y Long Range. Interesting. Maybe they had older price books. 5% uh, said Model S and X. And an overwhelming 85% said, nope, I just want to see results and sub. So probably this, you know, we're going to give this a little bit, see what happens. But I can imagine it's going to be mostly be Model 3 Standard Range, I would hope, because it just wouldn't make sense. Uh, unless you don't qualify for the tax rate, you don't really care at the end of the day, then, you know, of course, it doesn't matter uh, with that. But thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like if you enjoy it. Check out the petition if you want to support the cause. Check out Tenet down below in the description if you want to check out a different way to finance your vehicle and lower your monthly payment. Check out my Patreon down below in the description if you want to support the channel. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thank, you know, have a good Saturday. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.